Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to Rapture's house. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, we're going to get right into this. I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Let's see what's the energy surrounding us, Virgos, today. Let's see how this day is going to go. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what's, what's the overall energy. For my Virgos, today's spirit. Overall, mm, we got the fool. Aries energy. This is about you guys taking a leap of faith. Aries energy, it's fresh, it's grass, it's youthful. It's a fresh start. A fresh start, that's nice. Three of cups. There's some excitement, there's some celebration, there is spending time with others there's it's kind of like being a nice community being within a nice community three of cups is friendship it's with the fool dealing with mm, today today's gonna be a good day today's gonna be a good day with that three of cups three of cups talks about friendships it talks about playing well with others the fool fresh fresh, youthful. Let's try this again. <laughs> it's an energy of let's try this again. Yes, let's see. Show me spirit. Show me what's coming towards my Virgos today. Mm, Ace of Pentacles. So you guys got some money coming in. What are you doing? Do you, are you working a second job? Are you getting, this is like an extra paycheck. This is an extra little bonus, an extra little incentive. This is like, okay, you decide to go buy a lottery ticket today. You might win a few bucks. You know, this is like somebody paying you back what they owe you. This is like you guys, nice, beautiful energy, actually. Beautiful energy, right? Absolutely beautiful energy. So there's a new opportunity, a new job. Some of you guys, you may hear back. If you apply for something new, you may actually hear back. You got approved for the loan. You may you may actually hear back that you got you got the job itself. You got the promotion itself. But it's like a little incentive. It could be something little. It could be something massive. But you do have this Ace of Pentacles here coming in. Oh, we have Justice, Libra Energy. Some of you guys, there's a settlement here. Like some of you guys, what this energy is showing me is that you may get like some type of renderance of a judgment, some type of settlement here, money, new life, beautiful energy, beautiful energy. Also with this justice talks about good karma. It talks about good karma, but it also talks about good choices. It also talks about your choices, good choices, Libra energy, but it talks about justice, justice being served in your favor, beautiful energy. Beautiful energy because you go to the from the fool to the ace of pentacles. And then we saw that justice card. Today's gonna be a good day. Today's gonna be a good day. Let's see. Show me spirit. Show me what's coming towards my Virgos today. Ooh, ace of wands. <laughs> ace of wands. This is new ideas. It's like some of you guys, it's like getting the money, getting the loan that you need to pursue something. You know, because you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands to the hangman, Pisces energy. There's freedom here. There's freedom. This is also like surrendering control, having faith. Strong Pisces energy. Once you believe, once you believe, you get what it is that you've, I, I feel like, I don't know why I'm, I feel like I should be seeing a magician. Because this is all about your beliefs. You have to surrender control and you have to truly believe. This is you seeing something from a different point of view. And once you do that, once you've done that, that's when all of this luck and good fortune comes in. Yeah. 
I see a Queen of Swords here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Somebody is rendering a decision in your favor, in your favor. Or somebody, somebody's either rendering or somebody's making a decision, but it's, it is for your benefits. It is for your benefits. Show me, show me what's coming towards my Virgos. Show me what's coming in. So we have the Emperor, Aries energy. You know, some of you guys, your boss might see you. You, your boss themselves, strength, Leo energy. Oof, beautiful energy. You're strong. You're strong, overcoming obstacles. You guys are very confident right now, present moment. Ooh, the sun, Leo energy. <laughs> All we needed was some rest. <laughs> All we needed was some rest and the energy is starting to shift. But I did tell you guys that because even when I did the astrology chart, the week may start off a little bumpy. In the mix of it, it may be a little bumpy. But by end of week, there's some really good energy coming through. And that's exactly what this is saying. This is a fresh start. This is a new beginning. You know, this is you got, This is all about you guys taking a leap of faith. You have new opportunities. There will be new beginnings, opportunities at new beginnings. But this is also about you guys taking that leap into it. You know, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. You know, this is new passion. This is new creations, new ideas. There's, It's like totally new inspiration. And I feel like it. it's like you get, you get an opportunity. You get like an incentive. You get like a bonus or something like that that helps you. That kind of helps boost. I don't know why I just got boost of morale. Some of you guys, there may be something that's going around your work or your job, your career. And there's something here, a boost in the morale. Like... You know how you'll get dividends from a stock or like something, you'll settle like some type of case or something, there's some type of settlement in this energy and it gives something, it gives a boost to where as a boss or a manager, however this goes, they can give out an incentive because of, some of you guys may be in a competition itself, but I, I keep seeing an incentive. There is an incentive coming in. So there's a benefit coming in for you guys. Yes, the emperor, whatever this is, it's coming from an institution, a boss, emperor energy. This is a divine masculine energy. This is a lot of you guys. There's an opportunity at bossing up like a promotion, but there's an opportunity of you guys bossing up. And I, I feel like there's like a boost that's coming through. Nice energy. Strength, Leo energy, beautiful, beautiful energy. This is telling me you guys are very much so confident. Very much so confident. Even with the sun, this is, this is a bright light. You have a bright light coming through right now, present moment. Your presence is a bright light right now, present moment. King of Swords. I saw the king, the king and the Queen of Swords. If you've been having, there's something about the morale. If the morale between you and someone else has not been oh so great, there's going to be a change in that. For a lot of you guys, this could definitely be a spouse or somebody that you're in a relationship with. There's a positive turn of events that's happening. Show me. Show me the fool for my Virgos. Ooh, the star. <laughs> the star, Aquarius energy. You got Aquarius, Aries energy. A new beginning towards your dreams, your wishes, your desires here. Some of you guys, like if you want to be seen, you're going to be seen. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. It's a lot of happiness. That's a lot of fulfillment. That's a lot of happiness. That's a lot of fulfillment. Show me this Ace of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Three of Wands. So this is saying you have something coming in. Be patient. It's not quite here yet. It's not quite here yet. The hangman, you have to believe. Pisces energy. You have to believe. You have to be patient. You have some something coming in in the very near future because that three of wands is very near future here. This is about you guys patiently waiting because the three goes to the four. The four brings in stability, solid foundation. You may get something, whereas there's like you work a little bit extra, you do something a little bit extra. And like if you're trying to buy a home, you're going to have that opportunity to do that because the four, because you go from the three of wands to the four of wands, the four of wands is a foundation, a true foundation. Beautiful energy. Absolutely beautiful energy. Yeah, let's see. 
So maybe it's Ace of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. Good fortune here. Good fortune. Good fortune. Good luck. You have some ideas coming through. That's going to bring in some money here. It's going to bring in some money. It's good fortune. Good luck. Positive changes. Whatever the ideas you're getting, whatever downloads you're giving, getting, whatever incentive, extra bonus that you're getting, it's going to bring you in some good luck. Will of Fortune, strong Sagittarius energy. A lot of you guys, you could have Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, strong Aries, strong Leo in your chart. At wherever that's at in your chart, you might want to look at that. You might truly, truly want to look at that because that's where these incentives are coming. That's where these new opportunities are coming. Like say if, ooh, the tower, Scorpio energy unexpectedly, unexpectedly, where do you have Scorpio energy in your chart? Is it like your nodes itself? Because your nodes tells you your karmic cycle. So if you have a south and north node, it just tells you your positives and your negative karmic cycles. So where do you have Scorpio? Where do you have Sagittarius? Is Sagittarius like your rising? And I'm actually saying it because I'm saying it for myself. Sagittarius is my rising. So it's like, oh, good luck. As I say, 11, 11 on the clock. Good luck. Good fortune. Ace of Wands. Some type of new idea is bringing in some money. You know, something that you're very passionate about because the Ace of Wands talks about passion. But you do have to be patient because the money's not coming in quite overnight. Not quite overnight. You do have a new beginning here. You have a new beginning. This is about your faith and your healing. I like that energy. I do. Show me the emperor. Page of swords. Page of swords. You got somebody here watching you. You got some, your boss is watching you. You have, a, you have your boss or you have an institution that is watching you. Page of swords is, is a spy craft card. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This is a new start of an investigation some of you guys, you have a very important person that's watching you right now, present moment, or a very important institution. And why are they watching? Three of Pentacles. Because they want to work with you. They want to collab with you. They want to see what it is that you're doing, what you're working on. Nine of Pentacles. They want to know about your money. Why do they want to know about your abundance? Some, some of you guys, you have somebody here, a very important person. They want to know about you if you're single some of you guys you have somebody here that really wants to work with you or they're really interested in you and this is an actual like relevant individual this is an actually relevant individual they're stalking you big time death here knight of wands there's gonna be some action there's gonna be some action you're gonna find out exactly who this is Exactly who the, this is because they're trying to figure some things out about you. Yeah. Is this something positive or is this something negative? Show me. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy. I don't know why I get like some of you guys just be careful with that. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy. Somebody wants to offer you something. But you, I don't know why I just got chicken shit. <laughs> like somebody here wants to offer you something. Because that page of Pentacles actually came out in the reverse. And with the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy. Of course, it could be another earth sign. Two of Cups. This is a soulmate. This is a partnership. Like This is like somebody wanting to work with you, but will they step up? Will they step up? Will they actually speak on it? Right now, present moment, they're like in the investigation mode of this. So this is like somebody wanting to know if you're single, if you're if you're in a relationship, and or this is like somebody here that wants to work with you, wants to collab with you, but there's a feeling right now, present moment, of kind of being a little too chicken shit to actually speak on it. But they're doing a whole lot of investigation. A whole lot of investigation. I feel like this is all unexpected. Ooh. Justice. <laughs> Libra energy. Four of Wands. Four of Wands. Some of you guys are actually entering, some of you guys are getting engaged, entering into a relationship, moving in with someone. Some of you guys, you are getting a settlement and you will be able to buy a home or it's going to bring instability. 
to where you can lay a solid foundation. Some of you guys, you are righting a wrong within your relationships right now, present moment. This is like saving your marriage, saving your relationship. If somebody moved out, this is somebody coming back home. Strong Libra energy. Strong Libra. All right, let's see this strength card. Because right now, present moment, you guys are very, you're moving very much so confident, very strong. Show me. Show me strength for my Virgos. Four of Swords. Four of Swords talks about patience, talks about rest. You're strong. Five of Pentacles. Okay. So you guys are strong. You guys are very much so confident. Okay. But there is an energy here of you guys needing to rest. Needing to rest. You may have been hustling, 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 but you're needing to rest. You're needing to lay your swords down. If you've been finding that you've been arguing a lot, if you've been, because this is like recovery. Some of you guys, you really need to pay attention to your well-being. And I'm saying your well-being, I'm talking about your health, your physical, your mental, and or your emotional. Because while all these positive changes are happening, all these positive things are coming in for you, if you're not physically able to enjoy it, what's it matter? Some of you guys, you may be getting, you may be in the mix of some type of settlement or something of the sorts due to like an, a car accident or an accident that's going to bring in money. Yes, but you're still in the, you're still needing to recover. You're still needing to recover here. You're still needing to get some rest because there's a loss here. You see, you've experienced a loss here and I see this healing. And I do see where you guys will be able to enjoy. You see that? There's a lot of enjoyment here. There's a lot of enjoyment, but still, this is showing me that some of you guys right now, present moment, there is a need to recover physically, emotionally, and financially. So because there's a need of that, that's that 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 trumps anything else that because you can get all the money you want you can get all the success you want you can get all the love you want but if you can't truly enjoy it what's it matter so this there's a very big need for you guys to take care of your physical your mental your emotional and your financial well-being right now present moment if you're overspending stop spending if you're, if you're overworking yourself, not getting enough rest, you need to stop it. You know, there's a need for you. If you're doing a whole lot of arguing, a whole lot of fussing, a whole lot of fighting that's causing you physically, emotionally, mental abuse there, you know, abuse within your system, there's a shock to your system. Some of you guys, you're experiencing this, a true shock to your system. So with all of this positive changes that's coming in, all of these dreams that's coming true, even for this new beginning, none of this can happen if you're not in your right state, in your true right state. And I feel like your spirit guides wants you guys to really and truly take heed of that. Take heed of that. Let's see. What's your advice, spirit? Child, eternal. Determination to remain young in body mind and spirit ability to see things with fresh eyes so there's, there's there's a need for a determination for you guys to stay youthful but this is about again your body your mind and your spirit some of you guys you're needing to that's why that that hangman kept coming out you're needing to see something from a different point of view fresh eyes fresh eyes the shadow side of this is saying that some of you guys, there's an inability to grow up and be responsible. Extreme dependency on others for physical security. For your own security. Let's see if you guys could take a snapshot of this and kind of meditate on this. Because some of you guys right now, present moment, while all these new beginnings are there. And you see with that four of swords, that five of pentacles. That's exactly what this energy is saying. Like you have all these positives, you have all these things that's, that's coming in, that's coming in. But if you have the inability to grow up and take care of yourself, stand up on your own two feet, not rely on someone else for your happiness, for your wealth, your health, you know, your physical well-being, because there's a, there's a lot of reliance on that. It says, and be responsible, extreme dependency on others for physical security. You can't depend on somebody else to make you happy. They can contribute to your happiness, but they can't be your sole happy place. 
You can't depend on somebody else to walk for you, to talk for you, to feed you. You know, some of you guys, you may be with, you may be trying to recover physically and there's a need for you guys to kind of push, push through the pain because, you know, we got this four of swords. I mean, you've already experienced the pain, the three of the three of swords, you know, that's, that's physical ailment and that's in this energy too. That's a part of the astrology chart itself too. As I talk to you guys, then I start to remember because I do this astrology chart every weekend and that's a part of it too. Right now, present moment, there could be some true, true health issues. Right now, present moment, it, it actually said like acute, like the energy that's coming through. It was like true physical ailments that there's, there's an emphasis on it this week. There's an emphasis on it right now, present moment. But there's also what I'm seeing here is that there's an emphasis of you guys like instead of being defensive because I'm getting an energy of somebody here that's like, like, like ready to fuss, ready to fight. And even towards people that may be trying to push you out of a stagnant stagnation, trying to push you out. I've already seen three, three, three this morning. I've already seen five, five, five this morning. And it's like, you may have certain people, you yourself could be that person trying to help you get up, trying to help you have faith that you're not going to be bedridden or you're not going to be, there's, there's an energy coming through. I'm not going to go all into this because it's all about it's, it, it, the energy is showing the energy that's shifting is it's some, I'm speaking to somebody very specific because it has to do with your health. It has to do with you getting up out the bed. It has to do with you putting like it, nobody's going to make it happen for you. That's what this energy is coming through. Nobody's going to make it happen for you. People can be there for you. People can encourage you. People can inspire you. But you yourself, you have to say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to leave it like that. But somebody has to say that to themselves. Somebody has to make that decision. Because there's an opportunity at a new beginning. A really nice new beginning. But you have to want it. Somehow. Nobody else can want it for you. They can want it all they want, but it's not for them. Because there's something here in this energy about your blessings is your blessings. Your blessings is not for someone else. All right, my loves. I do hope that this resonates. If it resonates, definitely hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Know that I love and appreciate every last one of you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful day because I'm aiming for that too. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.